Many high schools in the metro moved their Friday night kickoff to earlier start times tonight, trying to avoid the rain. If they didn't move them to Thursday night lights, Fox 4 Sean McDowell is live right now at Blue Valley High School with a kick time that got moved up. Sean? John, Lauren, I'll tell you, for now, the weather looks pretty darn good, but you're right. Joe Laurie and the other meteorologists have told us that there is inclement weather, at least the potential of that coming. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Blue Valley High School. Speaking of the meteorologists, so many local high school football teams heeded the potential warnings of inclement weather. At least nine local kickoffs that were originally scheduled for 7 o'clock on Friday night tonight have moved their kickoffs either to Thursday night last night or to earlier kickoff times today, and that includes 3-1 and one Rockhurst and their visit to 2-1 and one Blue Valley. Let's pick up the highlights in the first quarter as Tony Severino and the Hawklets hit the road for Stillwell to square off with these Tigers on homecoming night or afternoon as war. Highlights from the first quarter. There's no score when Jake Wolf is picked off by rocker Stephen Burge, a senior with the interception. And like we said, it's hot out here. Alan Terrell trying to do anything to keep his Tigers cool. This was cool. Best play of the half. Wolf, this one finds its mark. It's Kevin Egan going 93 yards to the house in the second quarter. The game will be tied at 7 all at the half. In the third quarter, it is 14-14. We'll get you caught up on that one and so many more later tonight. There's a lot to cover, too. Bishop Miege upset last night by St. James Academy. Unbeaten Staley knocked off at home. And tonight there is the Battle of Blue Springs as Blue Springs and Blue Springs South meet up. We'll see you tonight at 1045. You do not want to miss that when Harold, Jessica, Chad, yours truly, and so many others get together for that weekly affair. We'll see you tonight on Fox 4 News at 10 o'clock. Until then, Sean McDowell, Fox 4 Sports.